Our next guest is a tremendous actor from Australia, you know, as gatekeeper to the wildly enticing pineapple suite on The White Lotus. What? Uh, sorry, I just want to tell you that Mr. Patton from the Palm Suite wants to talk to you. Are you f***ing kidding me? What? He thinks we've ruined his honeymoon? F*** him. I will ruin his honeymoon. Well, he's eating by the pool. So. I like your hair up like that. It looks cute. <laughs> the White Lotus is on HBO Max. Please welcome Murray Bartlett. <laughs> Tickled to just meet you because you're so funny on on the show. Oh, thank you. And uh, I now I really feel like it, you captured that enthusiastic but secretly demonic hotel manager <laughs> so well. I'll never trust the manager of a hotel again. But I, I feel like if you've ever worked in hospitality, that's the kind of feeling that you're very familiar with. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean it was definitely <laughs> there was a familiarity to it, but also just. Uh, madness to it, and right. you've been nominated for like a whole bunch of awards for this. You got a SAG and the Critics' Choice and all of these things, and, and well deserved because you. did you know the full plot, uh, the arc, the story arc of your character going into this? I didn't. I auditioned. Uh, it was a self-tape because it was in the middle of the pandemic, and uh, so I had the first script, and then I, I booked the job, and then I was speaking to Mike White, who created, wrote, directed the show. He's a genius. Uh, and he's, he, so we had a, a quick chat. And he was like, so you've read all the scripts, right? And uh, I said, no. And I got this sort of tone of voice from him like, oh, God, I hope he wants to do this after he's read all the scripts. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, well, we'll get those to you as soon as we can. So I read them on the, the plane on the way to Hawaii. Oh, you're already on the way there. <laughs> and it was during the lockdown and the hotel late, was Jimmy. shut down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there is a scene where, and Mike White happens to be a friend of mine. Ah. And so it was interesting because I started watching the show right away and then I feel like it took like three months for everybody to all of a sudden start watching it. But there's one scene that is so crazy involving your character. Mm -hmm. um, I think I know the scene you might be talking yes, about. Yes, of course, you must hear about it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Is it okay if we say what it is? Yeah, totally. Yeah, okay. so it's um, uh, in an act of vengeance, you um, go number two into someone's luggage. I do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it is totally deserved, by the way. <laughs> totally deserved. It is totally deserved. And it's, yeah, it's not the thing that you expect to see on TV. And it's certainly not the thing that you expect to watch yourself do on TV. No. It's quite a confronting thing for me to watch. Very realistic, isn't it? <laughs> Very re So realistic <laughs> that I texted Mike like an idiot. I said, was that real? And he's like, no, of course that wasn't real. So it did was I. CGI. I was like, was that real? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, when I... <laughs> and everyone laughed at me, but I thought it was real. I know. I mean, when I was watching it, I was taken aback as well because I, you know, in my, you know, sort of audience mode, was like, "That looks so real. Did I actually do that?" <laughs> the, the idea that it was CGI. I had this vision of some CG, some talented CGI artist who just got off like The Lion King or you know Jungle Book or something, He's and like, now yes. is like, "What the hell do they want me to do?" <laughs> well, I have to tell you that the the props department was very excited to create the poop. And um, and oh, it was, so there was practical yes, poop. Yes, yeah, there was practical poop, and then they decided to go with CGI. Not because the poop didn't look good, and because the poop looked poop looked so good. I said to the prop guy, "How did you? This is sort of joking, you know. This looks amazing. How did you guys do that?" He spent about three minutes explaining how he did it, the different chocolate bars, the honey, the kind of the things. I was like, OK, maybe too much information, but they wow. did an amazing job. They did, and you're so good in this. Uh, I mean, Thank really, you. it's so... I, I don't feel like I've ruined it to say that, but if you do see it, it's just quite a conclusion. There's going to be another season. It was supposed to be a limited series, one shot, yeah. And now they're doing another one. Are you in the next one? Can you say? Is it one of those things? Uh, I'm, I, I'm not in the next one. There, there is one of the, the actors from the first season is in the second season. Okay. But, I mean, it, it was written as a sort of a pandemic show. I mean, right. it, was, or it came out of the pandemic and it was just like a, a, a one-time thing. But because it, it kind of hit well, they, they sort of have rolled it into a second Was season. the actual hotel manager on site at... 
as you were shooting this? I mean, we had a kind of a, a skeleton kind of staff uh -huh. at the at the hotel. Um, so I I didn't get to really sort of observe the hotel manager and sort of get tips for my character. But yeah. it did make me super aware of not being the obnoxious kind of guest, you know, that we had oh, as right. part yeah, of the cast. And I, there was a day when I was, um, <laughs> you know, because it was skeleton staff and so things weren't running like super smoothly as they, they wouldn't be with not many staff. And my... My uh, laundry wasn't back and I was like, damn it, my laundry's not back. It's been two days and I was about to pick up the phone and become that obnoxious character from White Lotus and I was like, I can't do that, you know. It was actually, it was, it was good. I hope it kind of makes us, that show makes us, you know, reflect a little on not becoming the obnoxious I will tell monsters you, that we can turn into. Every time now either my wife or I is complaining about something that we shouldn't be complaining about, we'll say to the other, don't be White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> white Lotus, that's how it goes. It's a good reference point to remember, right? It's a great right? reference yeah, point. Yeah. It's, like, it's like gaslight became a term and White Lotus should now be its own term too. <laughs> right, exactly. Well, congratulations on, uh, on the role and how beautifully you played it and Thank all the you. awards nominated. If you haven't seen it, it's great. It's called The White Lotus. It's on HBO Max. Murray Bartlett, everybody. Thanks, Murray. We'll be back with PJ Morton. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.